SpaceX's Starship Flight 7 was a spectacle of ambition, innovation, and high-stakes drama. The world's most powerful rocket blasted off from Texas, successfully achieving stage separation and pulling off a jaw-dropping recovery of its super-heavy booster. But just minutes later, the upper stage, known as Ship, erupted into a fiery explosion over the Atlantic Ocean. This wasn't just a test flight, it was a critical step in SpaceX's mission to revolutionize space travel. Why did it explode? What lessons were learned? And how does this shape the future of humanity's leap into the cosmos? Let's break it all down. SpaceX's Starship Flight 7 was designed to showcase unprecedented technological advancements, building upon the lessons of its predecessors. The test flight launched on January 15, 2025 from SpaceX's Starbase in Texas, aiming to demonstrate significant upgrades and operational milestones, including its first payload deployment test. One of the most exciting upgrades was the redesign of Starship's forward flaps, relocated closer to the vehicle's tip. This adjustment reduced their exposure to re-entry heating and simplified the protective systems. To improve propulsion, the vehicle boasted a 25% increase in propellant capacity, vacuum-insulated fuel lines, and a new Raptor vacuum engine feedline system. The heat shield underwent substantial improvement, featuring advanced tiles with a backup layer to address potential damage from missing or compromised tiles. Additional features included smart power systems capable of delivering 2.7 megawatt across 24 high-voltage actuators, integrated Starlink communication antennas, and over 30 onboard cameras providing engineers with detailed, real-time insights into the vehicle's performance. Despite these upgrades, the flight faced its most dramatic moment when the upper stage ship experienced a catastrophic failure. Around 8.5 minutes into the mission, telemetry showed a drop in engine performance, followed by a sudden loss of communication. Shortly afterward, ship exploded over the Atlantic Ocean near the Turks and Caicos Islands. This was a planned test to push the vehicle's limits, and the explosion, while dramatic, is considered a critical step in identifying vulnerabilities for future flights. This mission also marked the first test of deploying payloads, with 10 Starlink simulator satellites designed to match the size and weight of the next-generation Starlink satellites. The payload deployment was meant to follow a suborbital trajectory and target a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean, simulating the satellite deployment process for future Starlink expansions. Starship Flight 7's promising trajectory was abruptly interrupted by an unexpected failure in its upper stage, known as SHIP. Around 8.5 minutes into the mission, during the ascent burn, telemetry data revealed a drop in engine performance. Shortly after losing contact, SHIP experienced a catastrophic anomaly, culminating in an explosion over the Atlantic Ocean near the Turks and Caicos Islands. This abrupt end halted what was intended to be a pivotal test of SpaceX's advancements in payload deployment and reusability. The upper stage had ambitious objectives. It was set to deploy 10 Starlink simulator satellites, designed to mimic the size and weight of next-generation Starlink units in a controlled suborbital trajectory leading to a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Additionally, the test flight aimed to evaluate innovative engineering improvements, including redesigned forward flaps, which were relocated closer to the vehicle's tip to minimize heat exposure and improve efficiency. The re-entry profile was specifically designed to stress-test the flaps under maximum aerodynamic pressure, providing critical insights into their durability. CHIP was also equipped to trial actively cooled metallic tiles and sections deliberately left without heat shield tiles, aiming to assess the spacecraft's ability to withstand extreme conditions during re-entry. These experiments would have helped SpaceX refine its heat protection systems and improve Starship's readiness for long-duration missions. Unfortunately, the explosion meant these vital tests could not be completed. Preliminary investigations suggest the anomaly may have stemmed from issues in the propulsion system during the ascent burn. The upgraded upper stage incorporated a range of advanced features, including vacuum-insulated fuel lines, a revamped fuel feed line system for the Raptor vacuum engines, and enhanced propulsion avionics for precise control. While these improvements were designed to enhance performance, they also introduced new complexities, 
emphasizing the challenges of integrating untested systems into a live mission. This failure is not the end of the journey, but a critical milestone in understanding and improving the systems that will define Starship's future. The lessons learned will be incorporated into future designs, reinforcing SpaceX's mission to create a fully reusable spacecraft capable of taking humanity to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The significance of Starship Flight 7 extends far beyond its dramatic failure. While the upper stage was lost, the mission achieved one of its most critical objectives, showcasing the potential for full reusability. The successful recovery of the Super Heavy booster using SpaceX's innovative chopstick arms marked a major milestone in reusable rocket technology. The booster, which incorporated hardware previously proven in flight, including a Raptor engine from Flight 5, landed smoothly back at the launch tower after a precise descent. The recovery process emphasized safety and reliability, with stringent criteria in place before the boost back burn was authorized. Even if recovery had failed, the booster would have defaulted to a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico, ensuring the mission prioritized safety above all else. This level of precision and planning showcases SpaceX's commitment to advancing reusability without compromising operational integrity. Starship Flight 7 also introduced new experimental elements aimed at advancing spacecraft durability and efficiency. Tests included alternative heat shield materials, redesigned tile edges, and stress testing of unshielded areas. These experiments, although cut short, provided valuable data for improving re-entry survivability and further reducing maintenance between flights. By refining these systems, SpaceX takes a step closer to achieving the cost savings necessary for regular and sustainable space exploration. This mission underscores the broader implications of Starship's development. Beyond individual tests, SpaceX's work on Starship represents a paradigm shift in space exploration. The iterative approach allows rapid advancements, and the lessons learned from each flight feed directly into future designs. With its enormous payload capacity and reusability, Starship has the potential to revolutionize not just satellite deployment, but also human missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Failures like those seen in Flight 7 are not setbacks. They are integral to SpaceX's bold vision. Each test pushes the boundaries of what is possible, bringing humanity closer to a future where space travel is routine, affordable, and capable of taking us farther than ever before. Starship Flight 7 was a bold demonstration of SpaceX's determination to revolutionize space travel, showcasing both groundbreaking achievements and significant setbacks. The successful recovery of the Super Heavy booster, delicately caught by SpaceX's innovative chopstick arms, highlighted remarkable progress toward full rocket reusability, a game-changer for reducing launch costs and increasing mission frequency. However, the mission also faced a dramatic challenge when the upper stage of the Starship exploded over the Atlantic Ocean just 8.5 minutes into the flight. This catastrophic failure underscored the immense complexities of pushing technological boundaries. The explosion is not the end, but another step forward in SpaceX's ambitious journey to make space exploration routine and interplanetary travel possible. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website at spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.